Good morning, friends, in the YouTube. And later on, on Facebook, <laughs> we had, uh, <laughs> we had uh, a very interesting problem this, <laughs> this morning. <laughs> because uh, it was my first time to try um, Zoom with a requirement, with a registration requirement. So uh, it turned out, it, it turned out that <laughs> because only three, actually only three or four registered, okay? but they did not check the email. Mm -hmm. And um, I thought, I thought if I, <laughs> if I, <laughs> if I share the link immediately, they would be able to to register so uh, they will be able to log in immediately if I give them uh, the link but it required them to register again which I needed to approve <laughs> so anyway uh, it's a learning experience for today I'll just share this uh, YouTube link to the group chat the group chat ito. right now Okay. Uh, yan. Share ko lang to. All right. So our topic for this morning is um, starting, okay, starting, uh, 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 managing and growing a small business. Small business. Okay. So that's uh, our objective. Uh, first of all, I'd like to invite everybody, okay, invite everybody to think about your experience, okay, your experience about, about wanting to have a business of your own, okay, because um, it's very much related to our desire okay, or to how much we uh, desire or want money okay, how, how much we want money in our lives from experience from experience many Filipinos um, don't really don't really uh, crave for money you know we don't really <laughs> uh, we don't want money as much as we want friends we don't want money as much as we want family money is never a priority but let me pose a question let me pose a question uh, what would you do what would you do if you had a lot of money what would you do if you had a lot of money? Or maybe not a lot, maybe just enough. Okay? Just changing. Maybe just enough. Okay? What would you do with it? And, of course, if we want some money, we have to find a way to get money. We have to find a way to get money. And uh, one of the one of the things we can do, of course, is to get a job. Okay? To get a job. Okay? Getting a job okay, is the best, is the immediate way. It's the immediate way of getting money. Okay? So, uh, unmute lang natin si... Uh, ah, no, no, mute pala. mute. Okay. So, um... But the second way is, of course, starting your own business, okay? starting your small business. If you'll notice, in Philippine society, we will, we will see a sari-sari store in almost every block. <laughs> in almost every block of our communities, we would have a sari-sari uh, store. It's... Yes, because um, it's the easiest thing to do. It's the most normal thing to do. Okay? You're at home. You're at home. You put up a small place where you can sell some candies, some cigarettes, some soft drinks. Okay? So it's, uh, 
it's the normal um, it's it's the normal uh, uh, tendency it's normal tendency of uh, Filipinos okay, but now right. I'd like I'd like to raise okay, I'd like to raise the level of discussion okay I'd like to raise the level of discussion about business okay right now we are sari sari store okay cottage yeah, that's the cottage industry cottage industry small capital things but the next level the next level is is the small business small business okay. uh, larger in capitalization more complex in business operation more sophisticated more sophisticated in terms of marketing okay. so um, that's my goal for this morning and for the rest <laughs> for the rest of this series okay, if you'll notice this series of uh, toxins is for 30 thursdays Okay, for 30 Thursdays starting today, we will discuss starting, managing, and growing a business for 30 days, for 30 weeks, <laughs> 30 weeks at one, one and 15 hours per week. Okay. So you can imagine that my goal is for you, for everybody to be encouraged to to have a business, okay? okay, to have a business, wouldn't wouldn't that be a, an achievement? Wouldn't that be an achievement if if at the end of thirty weeks we can say, oh, I have a small business, or I have a cottage business, okay, okay, when, because when I say cottage business, small capital, okay, mm -hmm. I'm saying think like a small businessman think like a medium scale businessman even if you have a cottage industry at home so um okay let me share my uh my uh, page okay let me uh okay this is my uh, i prepared some powerpoint presentation okay. So now, ito, I'll share my PowerPoint. And wala kaming load. Sige, uh, ano lang, hindi na dalan. Oh, wala load daw. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> wala kang load. Sige. <laughs> oh, i-mute niyo muna. I-mute niyo yung ano niyo. If you plan on talking, uh, I-mute nyo muna yung phone nyo, okay? I-share ko na yung... Okay, this is my first, okay? Ayan. Ayan. So, this is our topic. Teka, nasa na si Jay? Gusto ko makita. Uh, yes. A small teka. business. Ayan. Ayan. Oops, teka, ba't di ko makita si Jay? Kasi para may interpreter tayo. Starting and managing and growing a small business. Saka, iyan ako muna si Jay. Ah. Asa na si Jay? Para merong... Teka. Where's Jay? Ayan. Tapos speaker view ko. Ayan. Okay, si Jay. And then I will share. Para makita si Jay. Nakikita niyo ba si Jay? Yes, sir. While, oo. Uh, sige. Uh, nasa right yes. corner siya, lower. Nasa right corner siya, sige. Oh, kasi lower. Ko yes, oh. Sige. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Siya. Oh, sige. Okay, so starting, managing, and growing a small business. For today, this is just an introduction. Okay, this is an introduction. Kasi nga, 30, 30 weeks tayo dito. 30 weeks natin bubunuin itong topic na to. Okay. So, uh, ako, I will be your 
a facilitator. Okay. This is my whole name, Jose Romualdo B. Kumagun. Okay. B stands for Baldilio. Okay. Baldilio. Yung Kumagun, Kumagun is uh, from Isabela, Ilagan, Isabela. Actually, Cagayan, Cagayan. Kaya lang yung... Uh, yung uh, grandmother ko migrated to Isab Isabela, Ilaga, Isabela. Okay, so, yung father ko, pinanganak na siya doon. And, uh, yun na, yun na yung isang linya namin. Okay? So, yun nga, nakalagay dito, register in advance for this meeting. <laughs> so, konti lang yung nag-register. <laughs> uh, kasi ang, ang goal ko talaga... For non-persons with disabilities and non-persons affected by disabilities, uh, hopefully, uh, ano, uh, makapag-donate sila. Makapag-donate sila. Kaya, kaya may registration. Anyway, let's find out what will happen next. Okay. So, this is me. This is our topic. Okay. So, yeah. So, this is the goal. True success stems from knowledge. Okay. True success stems from knowledge. So, question for everybody. Do you really know? Do you really know what it takes to succeed okay, in a small business? Okay. The key word here is no. Okay? Do you really know? The more you build your base of knowledge, the better your chances of successfully starting, managing, and expanding a business. Okay? Yun ang, yun ang, yeah. Okay, so... Yeah. Resume... Sana nakikita ng... Hindi ko sure kung nakikita sa broadcast, CJ. Nakikita sa broadcast. Okay. Anyway, so... Oo. Oh, sige. So, yan. So, my challenge for all participants, ang keyword natin dito is knowledge. Okay? True success stems from knowledge. Okay? Kasi ngayon sa, sa business, marami tayong marinig na mga cliches. Okay? Marami tayong maririnig na cliches. Like, for example, ang kailangan natin ay sipag at tiyaga. Okay? Sipag at tiyaga. That's what we always say. Sipag at tiyaga. That's also true. That's also true. Kailangan natin ng sipag at tiyaga. Pero bakit hindi natin sinasama yung sipag, tiyaga, lalong-lalo na karunungan. Karunungan. Okay? Dapat karunungan, sipag at tiyaga. Okay? Kaalaman. Knowledge. Kailangan kasama dun yung knowledge. Okay. Now, kung aking experience naman, okay, okay, so, what is my business? Okay, kasi, hirap naman, magsasalita ako, porket may master's in business administration. Okay na. Okay. Um, this is my business. Okay. I am engaged in the advertising business. Okay. Advertising business. For many years now, I'm operating under the business name, the Philippine Corporate Address Book. And the specialization ko, the service I provide is advertising okay. but I must tell you katulad din ng uh, uh, I must tell you that I'm not doing this full time pa sa ngayon okay. I'm not doing this full time because it's not easy to make money okay. it's not easy to make money sa business okay. and before get may capital ka automatic kikita ka na Especially in the business that I have chosen, which is advertising. Okay. Hindi ganun kadali. Okay. So what do I do? What do I do? I combine it with with a job. So kaya meron dito plus online teaching job. 
eh, plus online teaching job. Kino-combine ko yung having a job and starting managing a small business, a cottage business, in fact. Okay. And this has been my formula for so many years. Okay. Always hanging on to a job. Always hanging on to a job well, while starting something of my own. Okay. Why a job? Kasi yung job, steady yan eh. Steady yung flow. Okay. Steady yung flow ng income. Okay. Kahit pa paano, kulang man, steady pa rin. Income pa rin yun. Okay. Sometimes, nakaka-bore. Okay. Sometimes, nakaka-bore yung having a job. Kasi ang gusto mong gawin talaga yung business mo eh. That's where your interest lies. But, many times, you just have to hold on to your job. No matter how tedious how it is. How, no matter how tedious it is. Are you advertising? That's that's the business I've decided to start. And slowly I'm growing it. Sometimes painstakingly slow, sometimes frustratingly slow. <laughs> okay. So, um, okay. let me, uh, oh. ayan, okay. Kilala nyo ba yung kasama ko dito? <laughs> ayan, si, ano yan, si Andreas Munoz. Si Andreas Munoz, he, he is a Spanish actor, a Spanish actor. Why, why am I showing you this? Because you know, my re. Uh, by the way, I'll show you my. Uh, okay, this is my advertising website. Okay, this is my advertising business. Paki mute lang, paki mute. So, like, uh, so ito yung aking website, the Philippine Corporate Address Book. This is my goal. Yung aking uh, tagline, make money and meaning. Okay, for me, making money and making meaning should always come together. So this is uh, the web page. Okay. So these are my posts. These are some, I have earned some money, some pro bono. Okay. Some uh, very happy with it. Some I'm not very happy with it. <laughs> okay. So now I'll show you uh, yung kay Andreas Munoz. Ayan. Okay. You know, before I decided, before I decided to do the uh, advertising business, ang goal ko talaga is to go into the is to go into the movie business. Is to go into the movie business. Oh, kaso ano eh, very expensive siya. I try, I did everything. Uh, I I was able to uh, I was able to get some uh, works a Star Cinema, okay? Namit ko na yung mga directors don. Okay. Namit ko na rin sa Viva Films, si Boss Big, okay. sa, sa Regal Films, si Mother Lily, namit ko na rin siya. Kasi nag apply ako eh. I want to get in. I want to get, I want to know. I want to know the business of movie making. So I tried Viva Films, Regal Films, Star Cinema, okay. and uh, the one that I'm most proud of is uh, I got got to know uh, direct, the late director Marilu Diaz Abaya. Okay. Kaso namatay naman siya. He, he, he died. <laughs> met Joel Lamangan. I met um, a lot of directors. Unfortunately, <clears throat> unfortunately, I'm not so lucky. Okay. 
I'm not so lucky in being part of the movie business. Although I'm not actually giving up din naman. But I decided one notch lower ako dun ako sa sa advertising. Okay. Teka, uh, in-mute natin ang konti ito ah. Teka, stop ko muna yung share. Uh, let me see. Nasaan na yung maingay? I-mute all ko muna. Okay, mute all. I will not allow parties. Allow a mute. Allow parties to a mute. Napulo ba dun? Okay. Teka, mute all. Ayan, mute all. Ayan. Ako naka-mute ba? Hindi naman ako namimita. No? Okay. <laughs> Sige, thank you, Jay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Isishow ko na itong ano. As I was saying. Okay. I'll show you a trailer of something. Okay, I'll show you a trailer. So. How many? 12,000, possibly more. Pamplona is lost, Loyola. I say we fight. He wants to become a pilgrim. He wants to go to Jerusalem and beg his way there like the holy pilgrims of old. But he's a Loyola. What will people say? Hear the voice of God. Would you want to keep it secret? You know what this council is capable of. Do you really want to die? I have faced death before. It does not scare me. Hello friends, uh, Hello. I'm in the company of a very special person. He's the only person I know who has tried fitting in the shoe of San Ignacio de Loyola. And it has been said that uh, to get to know a person, you try to get in his shoes or try to speak his language. And with me is an authentic La Spanish speaking actor and he has played in, he, he is playing in the role no, of our cinema uh, yes. the role of Saint Ignatius de Loyola the founder of the Society of Jesus and uh, for me when I look at Andreas now he had a Big task, <laughs> to say that's that's an understatement. Say it yes. big. Can you tell us your experience <laughs> about this project? Where should I start about that? <laughs> it's been a long way. Um, now that you ask where to start, maybe you can start with another because I'm interested. With uh, when when you started, this is much. This is how much you know about Saint Ignatius, right? Yeah. Afterwards, this is how much, this is, right? Now, in the process, right, uh, what was happening to you? What was happening? To you? Well, to be honest with you, it's been wonderful to be uh, in the skin of Ignacio de Loyola. Mm -hmm. uh, it's been an, an, an experience, an ex extremely uh, amazing experience. I, I. I studied a lot about the character, but mainly about his previous life before, because there's a lot of books and a lot of paintings and sculptures about his his life as saint, and but not about his previous life. And that was my my task was going back and see who was Inigo of Loyola. Um, he was an, a noble soldier from a family of seven. Uh, he's got like six brothers in his family. He was the seventh. And, and, well, his mom died when he... Okay. Yeah, okay, so I, I just uh, wanted you to show a portion okay, of um, that uh, clip. Okay. 
primarily okay, because um, two parts you know i wanted to show you two parts the first part is is the dream okay the first part is the dream i wanted to have uh, a movie business okay movie business the second part is what i have achieved so far okay believe it or not that movie was made in the philippines that movie was made in the philippines okay? it's made by filipinos just with communications director is filipino uh, the cinematographer is filipino filipina okay? all the staff there is filipino except for the actors all the actors are spanish spaniards because okay? see saint ignatius de leola is Spaniard. Okay. I wanted to be the first one to do that. I wanted to be the first person to to produce a film in English, uh, in English, with uh, with international quality. Okay. Kailan nagawa ng ano ng Jesuit communication? <laughs> they were they were able to do it. Okay. And uh, in fact, I, I begged, I begged the director to make me part of that production. <laughs> Too late now. Okay. So the second part is where I come in. You interview. I do a lot of interviewing. I do a lot of uh, advertising, advertising, public relations, okay? trying to to promote things, to promote things. You know, akin naging business that is my existing business now to help promote to help advertise okay so i try to get clients i get clients who need advertising services i need i look for clients who like who need public relations uh, uh, services okay. so union okay. now let me uh, proceed with my slides okay Okay, go back to my slides. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. So this is the second thing. Um, yeah. Yeah. I'll show you. Now, I couldn't do the big productions, the big commercials. So what did I do? I focused on the smaller ones, okay? Small commercials, low budget videos, okay? Because in the first place, that is all I can, um, ma uh, uh, I can uh, deliver, okay? So these are some samples. Ang client namin dito was uh, Homey, Homey Pansit, okay? If you like Homey noodles, okay? And this was shown in uh, Unang Hirit. May Unang Hirit pa nun. Okay, let's show this one. Oops, walang audio. Sali, pumayag din. Sali, pumayag Kahit tagal-tagal nang nanliligaw nitong si Berto kay Susan, halos taon nang lumipas. Ito nga, tumatanda na siya sa kahihintay. Tila nakikinig ang langit ng mga sandaling yun at dininig ang kanyang panalangin. Handang-handa na si Berto sa kanilang date. Isang memorable moment na talaga namang hindi nila malilimutan. Laking gulat ni Berto nang dumating itong si Susan kasama ang kanyang mga naglalaki ang kuya. Pero lusot pa rin itong si Berto dahil nakuha niya ang tiwala ng mga kuya ni Susan. Busog na sa kwento ang kanyang mga kuya. Enjoy pa sa iba't ibang mga flavor ng homie pansit kanton. Isa na namang masayang homie pan situation ngayong umaga. Ang bahagi ito ay inyatid sa inyo ng homie instant pansit kanton. Pare, pare! Nato na ako, pre! Pare talaga? Pagpapansit ka naman! Homie pan situation number 98. Talagang wala nang masasara pa sa pagsasalo sa tamis ng tagumpay. Kasama ang homie pansit kanton. Sa tegla, saan sa akin ka nga pala pumasa? Finally nabasa na ako sa video, okay? 75 na ako, okay? 
Sige, practice pa ako. Baka bukas mo ako ng 100 na. Bahaging ito ay inyatid sa inyo ng Home and Instant Fancy. Yay! Nay! 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 Nanalo po team namin! Talaga? Nanalo kayo? Opo! Tita, papansit naman po kayo. Oo oh, ba? Papansit ka naman! Talagang wala nang magtatalo pa sa pagsasalo sa pagis ng tagumpay. Kasama ang Home and Instant Fancy Canton. Teka, ano bang napanalunan nyo? Sa wakas, nanalo na din kami sa patin tayo. Isa na namang masayang homey pan-situation ngayong umaga. Ang bahagi ito ay inyatid sa inyo ng homey and sa... Ano itong pinaghahandaan? Nice mong marating ang iyong inaasaw. Kamit ang tamis ng tagumpay kapag ibinuos ang iyong lakas. Kasabay ang paglasap din sa sarap ng Homey Instant Pansit Canton. Ito na naman masayang Homey Pan Situation ngayong umaga. So those are just samples of uh, low end, okay? Because I cannot um, uh, do the high end, the high end uh, production. They do not sell low end, mga low end, mga cheap lang na productions. And yet, may pumapasok na pera, okay? But the important thing here is, it's not only about the money that's coming in, it's also the knowledge. Okay? As I do these small projects, my knowledge of the advertising business, my knowledge of doing business, managing a business, growing a business, is accumulating. It's accumulating slowly by slowly. You'll notice that the video is uh, really old. Okay, let me... Uh, okay, so these are some more clips. And okay, this is another. This is a more. This is a later video. Okay, PLDT na. Okay, kanina homey, and then I slowly try to uh, attract bigger companies like PLDT. Okay, still applying some low budget, low budget techniques. While all of Metro Manila's workforce take a break because of APEC Metro Manila holidays, PLDT Antipolo is at work. PLDT responds to a customer's request to transfer his router's location. Three shy technicians install fiber optics. PLDT's prompt and cheerful response deserves a video essay. The router is originally located in the main house living room and it is to be transferred to the back annex house. The team's leader was very perceptive that not so many customers, including the Philippine corporate address book, have actually seen fiber optics. He suggested to me to video.
Hindi <laughs> tama dyan sa video. Ayan na ang fiber optic. Bali, ilaw ko yung umaana dyan. On this APEC holiday. Okay. So, um, trying to attract the attention of big companies. Okay. And yet, uh, using low-end low end techniques. Bahay lang namin yan. Yeah, I just videoed the installation and tried to do something with it. Okay. And to date, this is the most viewed video in my YouTube channel, the Philippine Corporate Address Book. 58,000 views. Okay, 58,000 views. And uh, in the advertising business, if you uh, 58,000 views is, uh, is uh, in a way, an achievement. Okay. Again, my thesis is uh, generate as much knowledge as you can. Okay. Generate as much knowledge as you can. Okay. And in this case, the paper volcanoes for sale. <laughs> okay. This is my father. Okay, this is my father. Ako yon, bata pa. Okay. My first encounter, my first learning about entrepreneurship is when I thought, what if I make a paper volcano? Okay, what if I make a paper volcano? Can I sell it? Okay. Kasi in our, uh, we were renting an apartment in Kamuning. Okay. And then uh, we had a small door front store <laughs> actually our clients our our clients are just our neighbors okay? yung yung landlord namin okay? we sold cigarettes and sabi ko what if i sell paper volcanoes <laughs> i think i was able to sell one i was able to sell one okay? and i was very happy when i sold one okay? because that was the start of me learning about entrepreneurship, okay? thinking of a way to make money okay? by using uh, your ideas, okay? selling something that you think is useful, something maybe, okay? maybe in this time, at this time, paper volcanoes, ano lang to, parang art, okay, maybe it was an art, maybe, or maybe he bought it because uh, he just wanted to make me happy. At any rate, I was able to sell a paper volcano. Now, Kayo, do you remember a time when you were the first time you ever sold something to anybody? To somebody? And that's a good experience. If you can remember the first time you ever sold something to, to somebody, that's a good experience. And have you ever created something? Have you ever created something to and sold and sold it to somebody it's another experience another learning experience about entrepreneurship okay so um this is a picture okay as i mentioned earlier all these years okay, all these years i always hang on to a job kailangan may job pa rin eh. um Fortunately, sabi ko, my heart is uh, is not fully a businessman's heart. Eh. Kasi if if you think of a businessman, ang gusto niya lang talaga profit. In a way, right? Or a profit. But uh, in my case, my heart is not only a businessman's heart. Okay? My heart also desires serving people and my second job actually my first job was a community organizer with the urban poor my second job was with efeta foundation for the blind efeta foundation for the blind um, i worked there for a year okay. to show them this is one of our activities this is another activity And this is ayun ako, in our Braille library. Okay. It's a Braille library. 
Now, in my experience with the working with the Efeta Foundation for the Blind, I noticed that livelihood for the blind is a crucial component of delivering services for the blind. Kaya dito may soap factory, may soap factory sila dito. If soap factory kami, merong um, that's the biggest project in soap. I forget the name of the soap. Pero ano siya? A laundry soap. Ako in charge ako sa youth, sa projects for the youth. And uh, but I was almost always visiting the the soap factory. See, I find myself uh, very interested with uh, with business, sa production, you know, sa marketing. Yung mga friends ko dito sa marketing ng soap. And then I was also interested with the braille, kasi yung ay knowledge. Try to get as much knowledge as you can. So that was Efeta. Then my second job, my second job, is a teacher. I was a teacher at Xavier University High School in Cagayan de Oro City. Yung mga ko, 19, 1988 to 89. Uh, Jesuit, yung sa Efeta, Jesuit run, dito Jesuit run ulit. And uh, dito naman, when I was with Xavier, uh, while teaching, while knowing the ways of teaching, I also um, I also uh, observe the ways of running a school, a school business, a school business. Okay. Although the school technically is uh, is a learning institution, it's also a business. There's always the business side of it. So as I gather and gather and gather knowledge about the business of schools. Yeah, this is a faculty room. This is our faculty room. These are some of my co-teachers, some of our friends. Ito kasama ko si si Gabi now is uh, became one of the high principals of Ateneo High School. Itong guy in the middle of these two lovely girls, si Jan Jan Neri. Jan Jan Neri became editor of uh, of the Daily Inquirer, but he was with us. Ako naman ito sa baba. This is where learn the ways of how how do how do you manage teachers? How do you you know your personnel? Because if you have a business ka, if you have a big business later on or even a small one, you would need to manage people. Yeah. Manage people, manage uh, in HR, human resources, which is the key actually to a good business. And then after Savior, dito na, sa Sonda Lux Asia, this, this is where I met Gloria Antwerfia and uh, she was working with another uh, sister company. But in Sonda Lux Asia, this is where I um, honed my skills in uh, media production and in training. Okay. Again, the goal is learning, learning, learning. How? How do you do this? How do you operate a business? Non-profit nga lang ito. Okay? Most of the, uh, of the jobs that I got was non-profit in nature. And then I taught at Miriam College na. Okay? Si, si Jay, I, men I remember Jay mentioning that he studied at Miriam. I was about to ask him when. Kasi at that time, ako naman, nagturo ako sa Miriam College for 13 years. Pero part-time. <laughs> 13 years as a part-time teacher. I was with the communication department. So these are the... Uh, simula ng 1990s, eh, 1990s up to 2006. I was uh, with this teaching at Miriam College. I taught film. I taught, um, and all this time, uh, all this time, especially during my time with Miriam College, I was trying to get in the movie industry. So, medyo hati yung attention ko actually. But uh, 
I did my best to to get into both worlds because I also love teaching. I love the movie movie making. And then okay, the next is I do not move. Okay. I don't move to the next page. I am. Okay. I am. Now, at the same time, at the same time I was teaching at Miriam College, I was also working with uh, Office of the President of the Philippines Technology and Livelihood Resource Center. I was writing, producing, directing business education shows. So this is um, this is where I continue to gather more knowledge about business and technology in particular. Yeah. So these are our shows. The first clip is yung agrichete. Agrichete is yung agri business. If those who would like to go into agribusiness, I remember si, uh, si Rene. Okay, Rene, may mga clients siyang farmers. Okay, so agribusiness. Second is yung neg negosyete. Mga yun, talaga pang cottage and small business. And the third is magnegosyo. In the magnegosyo, from technology, our focus shifted from technology to marketing. We started to realize, I think marketing should be given more attention okay, so that they can succeed in business. So let's just watch these clips. Magbibigay garam mo lang tayo. Maganda, maganda, umaga po siya yun lahat. Nandito ka na, magpaalam ka na doon sa mga nanonood sa atin at uh, tapos na itong kurso ng Agricete. Ay, oo nga pala, no? Maraming maraming salamat sa panonood niyo ng Agricete at huwag na huwag niyong kakalimutang subaybayan pa ito lalo dahil mas maraming pa kayo matutupin. Oo, oh, tara, tara na, tara na, paganda na natin sa kapas mo. Oo nga, bilisan niyo. Bihan kong batang to kasi ngayon lang dumating eh. Kain na na, kain na. Ay, 
Kasi parang haba nag-aaral ako dito sa negosyete, Kuya Germs, hindi ba? Ang dami-daming natututunan. Kung maka parang nakagraduate na naman tayo, hindi ba? Nakatapos na naman tayo ng isang puso. Well, sa inyo lahat, saga pa rin ang kailangan natin. God bless. Hanggang bukas po muli ako si Nina Castro ang kasama ni Nong Magnegosyo. and livelihood resource center okay, the focus was technology okay, yung technology the more you know about the technology of your business the better you would become at it okay. and then um, the marketing okay, yung marketing side naman because of this So after Technology and Livelihood Resource Center, my next stop was Bahrain. Okay? Then I started to to explore. Feeling ko, I was feeling uh, my my income wasn't enough anymore in the Philippines. So I decided to to try it out abroad in Bahrain. Okay? Nakataon naman, there was a Filipino businessman who has a partnership with, with the Prime Minister of Bahrain, si Amable Cruz, si Amable, uh, yes, si Amable, kaya AMA, yung AMA. I, was, I thought that AMA International University. Okay. So sa AMA naman, that's where I gathered knowledge about international business. Okay, international business. I taught English in this school, this university, so I learned the importance of English, English communication. In time Philippines, eh, but if we want to have a greater market, we want to have a bigger market, then we should think globally. We should think of uh, speaking in English also. Okay? But then how does international business operate? Is you amable? know how to do it. Nakipag-partner siya sa, sa isang prime minister pa ng Bahrain. <laughs> okay, so, yun business. Okay, so this is me. with uh, I had a second job sa Aliyah University. Okay, sa Aliyah University, uh, ito, Bahraini University na. Bahraini na yung owner. So I wasn't, yung nasa AMA, International University ako, parang wala masyadong difference with dealing with a Filipino company. But then when I worked with AMA, with Alia University, I had this experience of dealing with foreign foreign businessmen. Okay. Itong university na to, 
yung location ng university nila is inside a mall <laughs> inside the mall of the one of the famous malls in in Bahrain so talagang school sila but very commercial yung approach nila to to schools and so i learned uh, slowly okay, about about running a business i was with the media production dito sa school na to and i was also teaching photography and video making and then went back to the philippines he went back went back home sabi ko ano kaya ang hanap buhay ko hindi na ako makabalik sa Miriam College <laughs> i tried insurance is a film life on my right is my mother okay, my mother the mother ko has been with the insurance business for pinalaki niya na ako pinaaral na niya from, from the insurance so, sig siguro sabi ko baka i need to do insurance also okay, so these are her friends and colleagues so film life naman what did i learn from film life i learned about the insurance business how important insurance is number two i learned the importance of sales yung sales is selling kasi ako at first i ayoko maging ano eh parang salesman lang i don't like i don't like selling parang it's second hand uh, second rate job eh mag agente ka okay? but um, with this uh, with this experience uh, sa film life yung insurance sales i try to learn the ways of selling how can i sell actually i'm konti lang na almost uh, almost zero yung nabenta ko <laughs> yung effort of selling learning how to sell something taught me a lot about doing business so sabi ko back to teaching muna ako back to teaching muna <laughs> I was lucky enough to get sa UST, University of Santo Tomas. This is a class. And it was si Libriones. Si Libriones was, uh, was is a cinematographer. Nag-shooting sila sa UST. E di syempre, uh, ang, ang, ang subject ko was advertising. So I said maybe observing uh, Libriones and teen uh, work would be a good uh, opportunity for my students so UST okay. Lala, short lived din ako sa UST short lived din ako kasi medyo nag acting up na yung aking bipolar disorder okay. by the way sa Bahrain uh, nag act up na yung aking bipolar disorder which uh, actually is the cause why I had to go back I lost my job Dito sa UST, I think similar yung situation. And then, ayan, masayaw siya pa. Okay, this is Bloomberg. Bloomberg TV Philippines. Okay. I got in sa Bloomberg TV Philippines as producer. Okay. Uh, it's a ABC5 ito. Sabi ko, wow, pasok na naman ako. In track na naman ako sa akin goal to be in the media. Eh, kaya lang, uh, short-lived din yung aking uh, Bloomberg. <laughs> Bloomberg. Uh, uh, something in me doesn't seem to fit sa, ano eh, sa corporate world. Maybe my independence, maybe my sense of independence uh, is getting in the way. Anyway, I lost this job immediately. Hindi pa nag-iinit eh, nawala na. But I got in. The thing is, I got in. But in the short span that I was there, I was able to somehow get knowledge about how a TV station is run. Okay? Kasi I've never been in... Uh, I've never worked with a TV station. Ito, TV5 na eh, oh. TV5 News pa. Tapos Bloomberg pa, so may tie up with uh, an American company. So we, with the short stint ko dito, I was able to, to get knowledge about how a TV station is run. Okay. 
a news department pa. Ayan. Which leads me to my challenge for everybody. Okay? For everybody. What do you really know about business? Okay. What do you really want? What do you really know about business? Sometimes you know, okay, unless unless you really know it, you won't be able to to go ahead. Okay. So, the question ko for everybody is, what do you really know about business? Yeah, I'll stop my sharing now. And um, we're almost at the end of our uh, session. Okay. So my question for everybody is, what do you really know about business? Sino kaya dito? I will unmute everybody. Huh? Unmute all. Yeah. <laughs> unmute all. Uh, sino gustong sumagot? Who would like to answer? We have a few more minutes. What, what do you really know about business? Hello, sir. Hello. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Ah, si Rene. Rene. Okay, go ahead, Rene. Sige, Rene. Go ahead. Rene, ikaw ba yun? No, sir. Ah, hindi ba? Sino yun? Sino yun? Hello, sir. Teka. Si, si Roderick? Roderick? Hello. Hello, yes. Okay, okay Roderick, gusto mo sagutin yung tanong? Sige, oh, go ahead, Roderick. Eh, business, eh, syempre, unang-una, pera ka agad ang pinag-usapan. Pero mo, ngayon, ngayon, paano pag-ugulong yung pera? Kung paano mo alagaan? Paano ka kikipin? Yun, business. At syempre, kung paano ka makipag sa mga tao? Unang-una, mahalin mo yung tao. Hindi mo minahal yung tao, wala kang business. Kasi yun, yun ang kailangan. Yes. Okay. Uh, Thank you, Roderick, Roderick yes, may sir. business ka ba? May business ka? Eh, dati nag-ano kami ng bakery, sir. Bakery? Oo. Oh. Oh. Dati? Dati yun? Dati po. Oh. Dati. Person with disability ka? Yes. It's, anong disability mo, Roderick? Porto po. Uh, Porto. Sa paglalakad. Okay. Okay. So, paano, paano ngayon? Anong hanap buhay mo ngayon? Eh, nung natigil kami, eh, nag, nag-cover ko ngayon sa Kapitolo. Saan, saan? Sa Kapitolo po ng Malolos. Ah, nag-cover ka ngayon sa Kapitolo ng Malolos. Anong work mo doon ngayon? Disability Appears Assistant po. Sa Kapitolo din, kaya lang wala pa kami head sa Kapitolo. I see. Okay. Sige. So, so yung may job ka, di ba? May job ka. Pla plano mo bang ah, nag-start lang? May plano ka may plano kang ano, ituloy yung negosyo? Eh, siguro sa hindi mo na sa ngayon. Hindi mo na. Bakit? May pagkakataon. At anong pagkakataon na hinahantay mo? Eh, siyempre. Eh, dahil bago pa lang ako sa work, yeah, hindi ah, ko na okay. makakaroon. Pero kung hindi ko kakakaroon, pwede ko sa business na rin naman. Kailangan harapin sa job. Konti. I-mute ko muna kasi may TV ako naririnig. Oh. Ayan, okay. Okay, so Roderick, uh, kung kung magbi-business ka ulit, anong business ang gusto mo gawin? Eh, eh maganda ko sana yun. Bake, bakery din. Kaya lang, bakery sa mahal ngayon, kailangan oh, lang yun, oh. nakapokus lang yun. Kasi kailangan, yung time mo, pagtuunan, kasi kailangan bantayan eh. Hindi, hindi mo pwede ipaubaya lang mo na agad. Sa, ano ba, kukukok ng tindera. Kailangan Correct. focus pa rin. Ano nangyari sa bakery before? In, nagkaroon lang kasi ng problema yung lupa. Kaya natigil. Nagkaroon yung kinatatayo ng bakery, nagkaroon lang yung problema. Kaya natigil po yung business. 2010. Nasaan na yung mga, nasa na yung mga oven? Eh, nasa na yung mga oven? Dahil kailangan i-dispose na kasi 
magkakaroon ng problema yung bara ng mga tubo sa ano kaya naibenta rin. 2011. Anong uh, ikaw ang may-ari noon? Ikaw may-ari ng business? Yung father ko. Kaya father kami mo. lang nagmamanage. Dalawa kayo. Dalawa kayo. Father mo. Okay. Ilang years siya nag-run? Okay, 2004. Actually, nag-umpisa sa lola ko pa. Ano, 1989 tapos. Na Tegel. Nag-open ulit ng 2000. Year 2000. Tapos yun. Hanggang 2011. I see. Okay. Sige. Patay na ba yung, ano, yung dream mo na itutuloy yung negosyo ulit? Pwede. Or... Kaya lang po, sir, dahil bago nga ako dun sa work ko. Oo. Oh, eh, correct. Pwede, ano, uh, ibibigay ko yung konting oras. Kaya lang, ang layo kasi, sir, eh, nasa uban ko ako. Ngayon, yung work ko nasa Capitolo, mali. And travel nun, ano, isang dalawang oras. Yeah, correct. Kapag sabay. Sige. So, sino gustong uh, gamit muna kita? Ha? Sino gustong sumagot ulit nun? What do you really know about business? Who would like to answer? We have a few more minutes. Oh, Debong. Sige, Debong. Go ahead, Debong. Si Debong. Oo, sige. Go ahead, okay. Debong. Ang, ang medyo malaking problema dyan ay yung pansimulang puhunan, yung okay. pera. De- Debong, Debong. De- Debong, Debong, ang tanong is, hmm? what do you Hello? really know about business? Yun ang ating sinasagot. What do you really know about business? Ano ang alam mo tungkol sa negosyo? Yun ang sinasagot natin. Hindi, kasi ang, kasi nag-business din kami ng, ano eh, ng, pan- ng panaderi eh. Okay. okay. Pinaka, pinaka, hindi, 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 sige. Sagutin mo muna yung tanong. What do you know about business? Uh, hindi ko masyadong ano. Kasi agad dinahin to eh. Kaya um, hindi ko ano. Agad dinahin to. Dahil sa puhunan. I see. So palitan ko yung tanong. What do you want to know about business? What do you uh, want yeah. to know about business? Yung ano, ang uh, gusto malaman kung paano patakbo yan. Maganda yung magtutuloy-tuloy. Hindi yung pang, pang simula lang na pag nag, nag, uh, tagal-tagal parang hindi na kasi gano'n ang nangyari sa amin. Eh. Yung uh, hindi na magtutuloy. Yung maganda, yung gusto malaman yung paano ba magiging yung iniisip mo ngayon, hanggang doon sa dulo, eh ganun pa rin. Okay. Pero Now, kami... Debong, uh, hello. tanongin kita, are you asking this question for the sake yes. of asking a question? Or are you asking this question because you have intention of starting a business in the future? Oo. Oh, oh. Gusto ko mag-umpisa dahil kasi yung aking girl, yung aking asawa, kasi mahirap din pala yung pag mag-aalis siya, sabi mo lang sa kalooban mo, okay siyang umalis. Pero pag umalis na siya, masamang, nung umalis na siya, masamang masama loob ko. Kaya ang naiisip ko, magkaroon ng negosyo na hindi na siya aalis na magkasama kami rito. Para ano pa yung, ba't kami nagpakasal? Ba't kami right, magbubuo right. ng pamilya? Paano kami makakapag-umpisa kung nandoon siya sa manayo? Nandito ako sa Pilipinas. Ang gusto ko, magkaroon ng negosyo na hindi naman malaki ang kita, sabi nga nung asawa ko, yun lang basta araw-araw may pumapasok, okay na yun. Ba't hindi na lang ikaw pumunta sa Bahrain? Hindi pwede. Hindi pwede. Hindi pwede. Bak- bakit? bakit? Eh, hindi ako nakakalakad eh. Hindi, alang hindi, may, pagkakaobrahan kung, eh. Hindi, kung Pero nakuha ang, mo na yung, ang, kung, hmm. kung nakuha mo na yung motorized, ano, motorized wheelchair. Assuming na meron ka ng motorized wheelchair. Pwede. 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 Um, okay. Okay. So, nasa na yung... usapan. Okay. 
Paano na yung business? Uh, Paano na yung business? Paano na yung business? Hindi. Yung business naman kasi pag kayong nandyan na at makikita mo naman na matatag, eh ba't mo naman aalisan? Ngayon, kung hindi pa masyadong matatag at po pwede pa namang umalis ka at magtrabaho, pandagdag puhunan para lalong tumatag yung para lumaki yung negosyo, ka pwedeng gawin. I see. So kung meron lang, kung meron sa Pilipinas, hindi ka na pupuntang Bahrain. Oo. Oh, oh. Sunod. Tingnan na sunod. Oo. Oh, Oo. Oh, oh. oh, oh. At If saka ever... isa pa, lagi namin ano. Sige, go ahead. Debong, isa pa, sabi mo. Isa pa. At, at saka isa pa, pagka yung lagi kaming may meeting sa may workshop kami sa ARG, ang lagi sa amin sinasabi nung nag-work up, nag-work up sa amin na ganito ang dapat gawin ng isang artist. Kailangan ng isang artist may negosyo na kahit maliit at the same time gumagawa ka ng art mo kasi kung iaasa lang lagi sa art, hindi mabubuhay ang isang artist. Kasi nararanasan ko yun eh. Pag may nagpapagawa, pag may nagpapagawa, ngayon may magpapagawa sa susunod na isang buwan, baka wala o wala nga. Kumbaga, hindi tuloy-tuloy. Ngayon, kung may negosyo kang maliit, may tanggap ka na paintings, swerte mo. Araw-araw may pumapasok ka. Ngayon, pagka wala kang tanggap, may pumapasok pa rin araw-araw. Yun ang lagi sa aming sinasabi. Ngayon, Sir Rome, meron ako lagi, laging sinasabi pagka nag-meet. Minsan lang naman ako nakasama sa, sa meeting ng PWD. Si Mama Cynthia Villar, Senador, nagkakaroon siya ng... Uh... Sandali lang, Debong, ha? Debong, post yes, mo na kita. Tanungin ko lang si Jay. Jay, nag-overtime tayo. Uh, available ka pa, Jay? Si Jay? Okay ka pa, Jay? Okay, sige. Okay pa si Jay. Sige. Okay, go ahead, Debong. Tuloy mo lang. Uh... Yung kay Ma'am Cynthia Villar, nagkakaroon siya ng ano eh. Yung, uh, nagbibigay siya ng workshop tapos at, at the same time nagbibigay siya ng maliit na puhunan para sa maramihang uh, pagtatarbaho ng PWD pero ang gusto ng grupo ni Ma'am Cynthia Villar na, na ano ko lang din nanonood kasi ako ng ano eh, na mga ano yung bang marami hindi yung isa lang dalawa ang gusto kasi nila Ma'am Cynthia Villar grupo ang magkakaroon oh. ng uh, uh, livelihood livelihood okay. project. Oo. Sana sinasabi ko ngayon, sana maka-apply, maka-apply, may magsusuporta man at yung naman ibibigay na livelihood, livelihood bago mag uh, magdiretso, tuturuan muna kung paano gawin, kung paano ang proseso at pagka nakatapos ka, yun ding grupo nila Ma'am Cynthia Villar ang kukuha ng produkto. Hindi kaganda nun. Tama. Wala ka, ang okay. iintindihin mo lang, ang iintindihin mo lang, matutunan, gawin, ng maganda. O yun, kukuni naman nila Ma- Ma'am Cynthia Villar. Sige, sige. Wala okay, kang, debo, wala kang, papos, papos muna natin dyan. I'd like to know muna sige, yung iba. Kasi advanced na yan eh. Oh, tingnan ko muna okay. yung iba. Who would like to share? What do you really know about business? Sino gusto mag-share? Okay, sige, go ahead, uh, Rom Kumagun. <laughs> si, 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 si Gloria. Okay, Glo. I-unmute mo nga. Teka, di kita ma-unmute eh. Ayun, okay, okay na, okay na. Naging room kumagun lang ako. <laughs> Oo nga eh. Sige, palitan ko yung name mo. Gloria. Uh, <laughs> go ahead. Uh. Yeah. Let's you know about business is to earn money. To earn money and uh, for me, uh, to earn money and uh, to uh, earn a living kasi yun naman ang, yun naman ang goal ng isang nanay na 
na magkaroon ng konting puna, magkaroon ng konting hanap buhay, then to support the family. Hindi lang kasi sa panahon natin, hindi lang, hindi lang ubra yung father lang, yung husband lang ang maghahanap buhay. Lalo na kung may anak ka na nag-aaral. nag experience ko yan. So, but then, ang, ang yung yung know about business is before I get into uh, devote my time sa mga PWDs, I got into this small business na before, since before pa, during CFP pa, Rome, ginagawa ko na to, na konting business lang, yung gagawa ng pulgoron, uh, mag, magbibenta ng ng leche plan and pag, pag kami mga small orders tapos yung mga short orders ginagawa ko yon especially when I had my my major operation nung nung 1995 na six to eight months na nakulong ako sa bahay hindi ako hindi naging hindi na magmumuo ako sa wheelchair uh, besides nag ano ko nag I got into bis- small business nag na may may yung brother ko nagma market then ang mga ang 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 mga ang mga clients ko ay eh, mga staff natin sa CFP, yung mga ka-office mates namin, tapos yung mga neighbors ko, nag nagtitinda ako na ng mga pulboron, uh leche flan, pancit, variety of pancit and uh, ang pinaka the best na 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 nabebenta ko noon every day is uh barbecue variety of barbecue. So, do sa small business na yun na masasabi ko na hindi ako yung bang situation ko na nakahiga lang dapat with all the pain na yung pa ako nakasimento for six months. Hindi yung naging hindrance sa akin. Naging, naging, habi nyo ko yun to, to earn a living uh, when na nasa bahay ka lang. So, yung yung business na 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 goal ko is yung bang maka maka at kahit sa akin kasi no kahit konting konting kita lang okay na kasi ang goal ko lang naman is to to help my family but then siguro nung nanong nagkaroon ako ng 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 training with the with the, with the persons with disabilities sa aming area na about it's all about entrepreneurship raised by uh, nagbigay ng training namin is rice rice program under Maybank Foundation nagkaroon ako ng ng eagerness and the goal na now why not make use of my ano yung my learning yung mga natutunan ko with myself na kasi ako sensitive ako sa mga food na inisinakain ko na pag na pag nakita ko to at to it na i-experiment ko sa bahay so ginagawa so sabi sabi nga nila sa akin pwede daw ako magtayo ng catering so sabi, what, when 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 you say catering is you need money you need much money so ako lang ako naman yung 500 sa akin is enough na to ipaikutin yon then yung kikitain ko para sa family hanggang bumili ko to lang yun so hindi pa na tama yon na na yung Lo, yung 500 Lo, ko na Lo, yung sabi mo kanina eh, business is to earn money, di ba? Yes. Eh, yes. Kaya nga eh. Mag-job mag, mag mag ka na lang. Mag-job ka na lang. Di ba? Halap ka na yes, lang. Yes. Na yes. Yung nga, yung nga dapat. Eh. Kaya lang hindi, hindi, na, oh. hindi, so, hindi so, ko, so, hindi ko na anong, yun, yun. Tama pa rin yung definition mo ng business. Yes. Ano ba? Yes. Defi- tama pa rin. Uh, to earn, to earn business, to earn money. How? How do yes. you earn money? To earn money, money to help. Do, yeah. How do you earn money? Of course, yung, yung puho, Oo, yung puhunan mo, kasi yung to earn money, na, 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 yung kasi natutunan ko sa, sa right program under Maybank Foundation is yung, yung small, yung, yung puhunan mo na 500, paiikutin mo yon Then, magsisave ka for additional to sa 500, then yung iba sa, sa, sa family, Sa, when it comes to family, maraming expenses yan. So, ikakategorize mo yun. But then, hindi pala tama yun na, na, na kailang, hindi, pa, hindi lagi palabas. Kailangan pagka, pagka nagbibusiness ka, meron ka talagang, yung, yung mismong puhunan mo ay kailangan dagdagan mo ng dagdagan until sa time na lumaki ito. At lumaki na rin yung business. So, ganun pala yun. So, nag, ganun, nagkaroon ako ng, ng idea na dapat pala ganun. Na so, kamusta na, kamusta na yung business ko ngayon? Really, to earn Kam- really a man. Kamusta na yung business ko So, yung business ko naman, uh, kasi yung akin is online is online business. So, may meet up. 
Tapos yung mga may hinayin yun, yung iba nag-order, uh, made to order, pag kami order sila sa akin. Then pagka sa online naman, halimbawa o order ako ng, ano, ng atsara, uh, mag isang isang battle. So sabi ko sa kanila, gagather ko yung mga, yung mga orders, then pagka nakakuha ko na yung kota, at saka ako kayo i-inform na okay, ready na yung, ready na yung, ano, ready na yung, yung orders ninyo. Glo, so may, may Glo, yes. Glo, ano, anong pagkakaiba ng business sa entrepreneurship? Anong pagkakaiba ng business yeah. sa entrepreneurship? Ang, ang business is to really earn money. Ang sa entrepreneurship is they teach us how to, how to earn money, how to save money, and how to help the family. So yun yung naging naging ano ko noon na that's the time na yung anak Sige, ko noon is we are we are in post lang muna kita ha eh. post ko yes, lang muna okay. kasi may, yes, medyo okay. conflicting mm-hmm. yung ano eh definition ah, yeah okay kasi yeah yung, yes uh, oh, oh. ang ang business and entrepreneurship sa totoo lang um, dapat magkakahiwalay yung personal exp- expenses yes, eh. yes. kaya wala i dapat siya so ano ba yung Sa business din sinuwa Oh, ano ba yung entrepreneurship? Entrepreneurship is is actually service. Eh. It's a prof, is providing service okay, to your customers by creating a product, creating a service na binibenta mo, okay? And which your customers or clients will pay you for that service. Yes. Okay? In at a profit para you can continue providing services and products to your clients okay sige yes. so uh, thank you for your uh, share uh, sharing yes that's it sino pang pwede na at nakita ko kanina si ano eh si uh, si Rom Kumagun ulit <laughs> and then si si Lorelai nagre-raise si si Lorelai muna Lorelai uh, Uh, unmute. unmute. Kaya mo unmute yung sarili mo. Hindi ko ma-unmute. Ayan, yan. Okay, go ahead. Lorelai. Malitan ko yung name mo. Ah, uh, okay na. Okay na po, sir. Sige. Go ahead, Lorelai. Sir, uh, ako kasi mag-start na rin ako mag-negosyo. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. Nag-franchise po. Uh, okay. Nag-franchise po ako ng uh, food cart. Okay. Aha. Uh-huh. Okay, food cart. Go ahead. Uh, uh, um, pero yung location po kasi ah. Uh, uh, last year po, nag-start na po ako ng negosyo. Ah, uh, negosyo. Oo. Uh, uh, for three months, nag- okay naman po yung negosyo ko. Nag- uh, yung sa burger, tsaka dun po sa uh, pagluluto ng kikiya, mga ganun po, street food. Uh, kasi ka sama ko po doon si Len si Lenny Masanari Lenny? sa pag okay. uh, nag-join po kami ng negosyo. So nakita okay. naman po okay. siya. Mhm. Uh, Nagpit naman siya kasi po yung nga po yung location hindi po siya naging okay kasi uh, hindi po matao yung lugar. So, nakiusap lang naman po kami doon sa isang uh, nag-o-own po ng kalenderya na mag- magkaroon kami ng isang uh, lugar na pag-o-pestoan po namin ng food cart. So, kamusta na yung negosyo nyo ngayon? Kamusta na yung negosyo ngayon? Oh, uh, bali, ongoing pa ba? Natigil po siya. Natigil na? Oo. Okay, natigil siya. Y- yung yung po, franchise. Po siya. Mm-hmm. Pero may franchise mm-hmm. pa kayo. Pero plan franchise hindi ko na po na-renew. Hindi na na-renew, I see. Okay, okay. Sige. Anong anong plano mo ngayon? Anong plano mo ngayon? What's your plan? If any. What's your plan now? Ah, uh, so ngayon po kasi wala po wala. Wala po kasi akong trabaho ngayon, pero ang plano ko po sana mag-continue ng business. Kasi uh, naminiwala po kasi ako na hindi po dare-derecho yung uh, trabaho. Uh, negosyo pa rin po yung pinakamaganda talaga ang uh, pag- pagkakitaan po ngayon. Okay, sige. Pero naghahanap ka pa ng job? Uh, opo, opo. Continuous Oo, po yung pagkakitaan ko ng trabaho. 
correct kasi ako ang recommendation ko is sabay muna eh ang 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 steps actually yung steps is job muna okay? pag nagja-job kayo you can start saving you can start saving for capital okay while you're saving capital you can slowly start your business okay And then when you're ready with the business, you can think of leaving your job kung kaya na ng business. And if your business can generate enough income, may surplus pa, you can start investing. Investment na. There's one problem sa business eh. If you stop working the business, the business will fall down. Yan ang problema sa business. Okay? But kung may investments kayo, The money will work for you, but right now, the topic natin is business. So I, I'm glad that you have a plan. Ka. Let's hear from Jane. Si Jane, Jane, kau naman. Anmit ah, natin si Jane. Jane, nagraise ka ng hand mo, Jane. Ah. Hello. So what do you know about business, Jane? Uh, you. But mahina yung volume. May, yung, may mic ka, Jane? May mic? Microphone? Um, naka, naka, may... An, naka, naka... Oh, ayan, go ahead, Jane. Paki, la, may microphone ka? Or, or lapit, lapit ka sa ano, sa cellphone? Lapit ka sa cellphone? Ayan, oh, oh. ayan. ayan. Yeah, eh, wala po akong alam sa business, pero opinion lang. Kasi pag pumasok... Okay, uh, okay. Pagka-opinion, hindi ko muna papakinggan yung opinion. Okay? okay, kasi ang topic natin is knowledge. So, would you... Question lang siguro about business. Ano yun? Ano yun? Question lang po siguro about business. Kasi wala naman akong idea pa. Oh, oh sige. So, kasi ang next question is what do you want to know? Okay, so what do you want to know about business? Una-una, hindi ko alam kung anong papasokin, paano pasokin. Yung, yung pagyamanin siguro, pag nandun ka na, matututunan mo na. Kaso, at the meantime nga, wala ako ka idea Kaya nga din po ako nanood kasi para may matutunan. Kaya ako nag-joy. Correct, correct. Oh, actually, Kaya nakikinig lang din po ako sa mga... Uh, alam mo, nag-usap na tayo in yes, the past. Po. Di ba you were thinking of uh, parang training center? Yes. Training center. Oh, hindi Pero hanggang ngayon, idea. dream pa din siya. <laughs> <laughs> dream pa din siya kasi hindi ko alam i-fabricate at i-finalize. <laughs> Oo. Eh, ibig sabihin, hindi totoo yung sinabi mo na hindi mo alam kung anong gusto mong pasukin. Uh, gusto. Pero hindi ko pa rin kasi siya alam paano pasukin. Oh, pero ah, alam mo yung gusto sa... mo. Okay. Alam mo yung gusto mo. <laughs> eh kasi ano, kasi, kuy, gusto ko kasi yung sigurado na bago ko sabihin uh, na alam ko na talaga siyang pasukin. <laughs> hindi. I- ang ano, alam mo yung gusto mo. Okay. Diba? Alam mo yung gusto mo, hindi ka sigurado, pero alam mo yung gusto mo. Kasi I think yun yung isa sa pinaka-importante, eh, malaman, alam mo kung anong gusto mo. Hmm. Alam mo kung anong gusto mong gawin. Alam. Diba? Ang... ang Mantra na ang keyword natin is alam. We know. We know this is what I want. Okay? Kaya yun, actually, nandun pa lang tayo ngayon. So, based sa mga napag-usapan natin, yung shinare mo sa akin noon na training center is actually double purpose eh. Negosyo siya na nagsiserve ng fellow parents of autistic children. Di ba? Pag na-open mo yan, pag nagawa mo yung business na yan, marami kang matutulungan na autistic, uh, na parents of autistic children na makakapaghanap po eh din. God, we diba? matuloy po lahat. Diba? <laughs> Oo. Oh, so, hold on, to, hold on to that. Alam mo yung gusto mo. So, hindi totoo na hindi mo alam yung gusto mo. <laughs> Thank <Okay>. you. <laughs> Oo. Oh, oh. Si, ano? Si, ah... Uh, Rene, Rene, ikaw, kumusta? Unmute, unmute natin si Rene. Go ahead. Ah. Yes, sir. Uh, sa which is na, sa ano na po, nasa financial... Ano na rin po ako, eh, di, ang, pala, ang gusto ko siguro, ang pinakang master ko nga siya ngayon, yung, yung sa financing. 
Oke, oke. Oo, correct, correct. Kasi oh. kung iba pa ako ng linya, mas marami pa ako dapat mag-aralan. Like dito po, kilala ko na yung sino yung pupuntahan ko, sila lila ko na yung sinalapitan ko, at Correct. sino din yung market ko. Yun. Correct. For, for the benefit Yun of yung, everybody. Yun yung alam ko sa pagiging mag, para magkano, alam ko sa negosyo. Oh. Oh. Si Rene is uh, financial, a credit, financing credit, talaga. Oh, credit investigator si Rene. With a rural bank uh, sa Lucena. Yeah. Okay, kung malapit ka sa, kung nasa Lucena kayo at gusto niyo mag agribusiness or kung may kilala kayo ng ano si si uh, Rene ang ang hanapin niyo, rural bank. Uh, tapos si uh -huh. si um, ang sinasabi mo ba Rene, interested ka magkaroon ng credit business? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay, yun. Oh, kasi yung credit business okay. Business din, yung banko, yung banko, business yan eh. Di ba? Yung banko, business. Oh. Yung, yung servisyo ng nakita, banko. Nakita ko sa yung ano nila. Oh. Oh. Nag-start lang sa, sa mag anim. Anim yan. Ngayon, hanggang Mindana, Bisaya na sila. Takas, Luzon, Bisaya. Ino-open na po nila yung Mindanao eh. Kasi nakita nila yung yung, Correct. yung production talaga. Nas, ang income talaga na sa ano agree. Correct. Tulad niya yung lockdown, halos pang medyo maganda oh. yung income. Yes. Alam mo pinakang, yung... Kasi tayo naman po, eh, ano, malayo yung, sa kalamidad na ang house. Eh. Hindi ka tulad sa ibang lugar na maano yung kalamidad. Eh, tayo, siguro, tulad niyan. Sa isang taon, ilang beses oh. lang ano, ng bagyo. Pero yung nagagawa naman po ng paraan niyan yung mga ano, mga crops, kung paano sila hindi tamaan ng ano ng mga calamidad. Correct. Alam mo yung yung mother ko? Yeah, nakita ko rin. Yung yun. mother ko. Tsaka lahat po nang nakita ko. Sampa. Sa yung mother ko, di ba nakwento ko na sa insurance siya, insurance agent. Yung mother Aba, ko, insurance. Nasa, oh, oh, insurance siya. Ngayon, meron siyang maliit na credit. Pilam, pilam sir, no. Pilam siya, pero meron siyang sarili na ano credit business credit business yung una wala siyang kapital nakipag nakipag partner siya sa isang kaibigan niya na may kapital oh may kapital siya yung nagpaikot okay so hanggang sa dumami na yung kanyang kapital nag sa, nag nagkaiwalay kasi yung locate yung bahay dati kapit bahay sila eh nang kalayo dinagsolo na siya uh, mm -hmm. Napaaral niya kami, tatlo. Tatlo kami yung magkakapatid, Ateneo. Okay? Tatlong Ateneo. Tatanungin ko sa ako, yeah. hindi ko nagawa yan. Hindi ko nagawa yan sa sarili kong anak. <laughs> yung mga anak ko, eh, ano, ordinaryo lang yung ano, eh, napa school nila. Pero yung nanay ko, napaaral kami, tatlo Ateneo. School. Because of yung credit business. <laughs> meron, siyang, meron siyang credit business. Eh. Ay, kutsan. So, yun, gather as much knowledge sa credit business. Okay. Sino pa? Meron pa tayong time for uh, one or two questions. Si ano? Sincha. Sincha Mendez. Sincha Mendez? Uh -oh. Yes, sir. Uh -oh. Anong knowledge mo about business? Uh, ako po sa ngayon, ano, uh, meron ako kunting... <laughs> Inumpisahan na ano, ang business. <laughs> Oo. Anong business yun? Uh, by order nga lang, uh, fresh egg tsaka dried fish. <laughs> fresh egg tsaka dried fish. Oo. Yeah, pero so, ano so, lang ako, tray. Pag may so, order sila, uh, binibili ko sa palengke ng mura. So, Nagdadagdag na lang ako ng konting tita ko. So, yun ang ano ko ngayon sa subdivision namin habang nakaisip. Ganda yun, trading. <laughs> Oo, trading naman. Trading. Kaya nga eh, sana nga tumuloy. Pero itutuloy-tuloy ko na kasi naumpisan ko na rin. <laughs> Oo, anong, anong natutunan mo tukos sa pagninegosyo all these years? Uh, anong natutunan mo sa pagninegosyo? Uh, actually, ano, uh, business mind did naman ako di ba
Teka, naka, na-mute, na-mute. No. Na- Ayun. Go ahead. Continue. Mawagin kapatid. So, nakaka-adapt ako sa kanila ng kunting knowledge about sa pag-business. Ano nga yun? Ano yung knowledge? Ano yung knowledge na natutunan mo? Yung paano mo maumpisahan yung pag... Ba't namamute ka? Oh. Teka, namute ka ulit. Namute ka ulit. Teka, hindi ko ma... <laughs> Nawala ka o. Oh. Ano ba yung piniti? Oh, yan. Yeah. Oh, go ahead. Go. Tuloy mo, tuloy mo. Ah, uh, 'yun. Na may natututunan, may natutunan ako ako. <laughs> so, nagunti-unti na rin ako kung paano kasi by age ko, ah, uh, medyo patanda na tayo. Parang gusto ko rin po magkaroon ng sariling business. Oh. Yung sarili ko na talaga. Correct. Sige. Okay. Si uh, thank you Cynthia. Si ano? Thank you. Si uh, Jeneline. Jeneline? Teka, si Jeneline, na late nang dating si Jeneline, pero uh, Jeneline, uh, palitan ko yung pangalan mo, ah, si Jeneline uh, Mercado, di ba? Jeneline Mercado. <laughs> si Jeneline, si Jeneline ano, ano ang, uh, may, may business ka, Jeneline? Anong gusto mong business, Jeneline? Jeneline, anong gusto mong business? Gusto mo magkaroon ng business, Janelyn? Anong business ang gusto mo? Meron siya Jay sagot. Janeline? May Jay, ano ka mo si Janeline? May sagot ba si Janeline? Nakamute ka, Jay, ha? Hindi kita marinig. Ayan, Jay. Go ahead, Jay. O, oh, Jay. Anong sagot ni Janeline? Anong sagot ni Janeline kanina? Wala po akong business. <laughs> Oo. Gusto ba niya? Gusto mo mag-business, Janeline? Nag-free. Nag-free si Janeline. Oo oh, oh, nga. Ayan. Opo. Gusto ko magkaroon ng business. Kasi kaya at lang wala rin akong bahay at lupa kung saan pwedeng gawin niyang business. If ever, if ever, anong business ang gusto mo gawin? Sari-sari store. Sari-sari store. Okay, sige. Oo. Pero siyempre, maliit lang yan. Para at least may, kahit pa paano, meron po kaming, sa pag, kahit sa pagsusulat lang, pwede kami mag-iug na yan kung ano yung nakita na sila. Sige. Sari-sari store. Oo. Dapat, Jeneline, yung sari-sari store mo, gawin natin yung laki ng, ano, ng pure gold. Sari Sari Store mo. Palakihin natin sila laki ng pure gold. Okay ba 'yon? <laughs> si si Sheila naman, Sheila. <laughs> Sheila, Sheila ikaw. Sana si Sheila. Ah. Sheila, ano? <laughs> Anong business ang gusto mo, Sheila? Si Sheila ang pinakabata sa atin eh. Tingnan natin. Di kita marinig? Sheila, lapit ka sa mic. At saka si ano si si, si Melanie pala 'yon ano, Melanie? Oo, oh, opo. Ba't di ko kayo marinig? Lapit kayo sa mic. Hey, ano ba? Sige, Melanie and Sheila, anong anong business? May business pa kayo ngayon? Wala po. Wala. Anong hanap buhay mo, Melanie? Wala po sa bahay lang, nagaglaga lang. Bahay lang. 
si Shela bata pa naman eh no. Shela anong 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 gusto mo bang anong trabaho ang gusto mo? Di kita marinig Shela. Lapit ka sa mic. Lapit ka, lapit ka sa mic. Di ko marinig. Lapit ka. Hindi daw pong magpulis sana. Gusto mag? Hindi na. Hindi daw po sana magpulis. Ah, magpulis. Okay. Okay yan. Oo. Oh, so, tama. Sige, sige. Magpulis. Anong... Bakit gusto mo maging polis? <laughs> Lapit. Oo, sige, sige. Okay. Si Melanie, Melanie, anong gusto mo bang mag-business? Interesado ka mag-business? Opo, sana. Sari-sari store. Sari-sari store. Sari-sari store din. Para Bakit sa bahay? Sa... Ah, para na sa bahay lang. Okay, sorry, sorry. So, yung kay Jenelyn kasi, sinlaki ng pure gold. So, yung sa'yo, sinlaki ng SM. Oh, wow. SM. Ha? Grocery, SM. Kasi yung pure gold kay, ano na eh, sinlaki ng pure gold kay Jenelyn. <laughs> Oo. Pure gold para, talaga. Para. Oo. <laughs> si guess. Andito si uh, Mario. Mario, would you like to comment, Mario? Ito si Mario. Mario, would you like to comment? Nakamute. Eh, ayan na, inamute uh, na kita eh. Ayan. O ayan. ayan, go ahead, Mario. Uh, would you like to Can you hear me? Yes, yes. hear you. Okay, magandang gabi sa inyo na. Uh, Rom, how much time do you want me to talk? Uh, very short. Uh, pwede ba two minutes? Two minutes? Two minutes, okay. okay. Two minutes. Um, ang mga papasok sa isip ko, habang nakikinig sa inyo, um, mm -hmm. negosyo pwede pasok ngayon this time would be uh, home gardening, Magtanim ng gulay. Yung tatawag na backyard farming. Kung walang lupa, pasok. So, kailangan matyaga ng konti. Mga sibuya. Si mga madaling uh, tumubo. Tapos uh, mm. madaling i-benta. Ang pagpat pagpatakbo lang naman ng business, basta yung column mo dun sa dalawang papel lang kailangan mo dun. Yung, Mario, yung isang papel camera, para sa lista ng mga gas. Pwede ka may camera? I'm on the phone. I'm on the phone. I'm on the phone. I'm on the phone. I see. Okay, okay. Yeah. So, yung isang papel, listahan ng mga gastusin. Tapos yung isang yung pangalawang papel, listahan ng kita. So, siguro doon yung, siyempre, yung listahan ng kita, mas malaki sa uh, listahan ng gastusin. Pero, so, doon yung Mario, malalaman. So, uh, magtanim Mario, ng gulay, ano mag... Uh, yeah. Mario, uh... Ang question kasi is, uh, what do you know about business? So, what do you know about business? Yun yung well, ating topic muna for, for now. Yung course ko kasi nung college, eh, operations research. Eh. Although engineering okay. side, hindi yung math side. So, from top to bottom, how to run a corporation, how to... Um, yung small scale, wala ko masyado na. Pero basic, ano naman yung business, business operation. So... Yan, uh, yun ang naisip kong business ngayon. Ngayon, kung may skill kayo, like mananahe, you just get the word around, ikalat nyo na marunong kayo mananahe. Kung hindi man, kung meron kayong makina sa bahay, di magpag-aralan yung uh, panda rin. Kung mahinig kayo magluto, uh, kakanin. Tapos yung kakanin, kahit sa kapitbahay nyo ibenta. Uh, kung... Kung wala kayong alam na negosyo at this time, pero kayo may mga extra 5,000 at least, uh, in the next couple of months, meron tinatawag na uh, uh, barangay bonds ba yun? Uh, mini bonds na kailangan ng 5,000 lang na minimum na capital. Uh, pwede mong bumili ng bonds sa banko. Hindi ko alam magka-return eh. Nung umalis ako, nasa 5% a month yan eh. 
So, 5,000 5, pesos pwede na. So, kung 10,000, dalawang ano, unit ng bonds yun. Uh, kita ng 5% each. Um, okay. Okay, last 30 seconds. So, yun. Yung, 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 yung tatlong ano. Yun yung uh, naisip ko. Uh, mag-aaral, mag-gumawa ng kakanin, uh, magtanim ng gulay, kung magtsaga kayo, magtsaga kayo, o any food, mag-backyard gardening kayo. Um, pangatlo, yung ano, uh, mag-invest sa bayanihan bonds, siya tatawag doon, bayanihan bonds. Magtanong kayo sa banko, meron yun. Meron ba yung mga bonds na, na ano, na worth 5,000 lang. So, again, sa pagpapalakad ng negosyo, Dalawa lang papel kailangan. Isa, lista ng gastusin. Okay. Isa, lista, lista ng kita. Uh, so, okay, pag Mario, ano yan, pag kailangan mabalansin lang palagi yan. Okay, salamat, okay. Tom. Okay, thank you, Mario. Okay, for the final note, isishare ko yung ating topics, okay? So, for the next, ito tayo, May 14, Introduction Free for All. So, May 21, ito na, May 28, tuloy-tuloy na tayo. Okay, these are our topics. Okay, managing your own business divided to three parts, starting your own business, managing your own business, growing your business. Yan ang mga different topics natin hanggang December 3. Okay, so friends, um, this is just the start. Okay, this is the start. Ngayon, uh, uh, within 30 weeks, okay, within 30 weeks, we'll try to learn as much as we can about business, starting, managing, and growing a business. And then hopefully, okay, hopefully, something comes out okay, from this uh, 30 weeks. Okay. Kabuhayan, kabuhayan for everybody. Okay. Something that we can live by. Okay, so we have to wrap up this uh, webinar. Hope to see you next, next week. Okay. <laughs> So friends, uh, goodbye for now. See you. Okay, see you until our next meeting. Okay, bye bye. Bye bye everybody. See you.